Many of us strive to be successful, irresistible, and popular. We follow a certain set of rules, which we believe will make us more appealing to others. But for a satisfying and long-lasting loving relationship, it is more useful to learn how to give love based on a couple of key skills. And since love is an inseparable part of life, we can practice the mastery of giving love every day. Here are five key skills for a better relationship and life. Objectivity. To be objective is not to allow emotions or imagination to influence your opinion. It is a real challenge to remain objective in love because it is such an intimate and emotional aspect of our life. So what can we do? A daily exercise can be to consciously reflect on the difference between your idea of your lover and his or her behavior in reality. Often unconsciously, we project our mental models, experiences, and backgrounds onto people. To think objectively and to be able to reflect is impossible without some amount of modesty. When we work on ourselves to overcome some of the self-centered cravings from childhood, for example, to be all-knowing, then we are on the path of becoming a modest person. Hope. To have rational hope is to be certain in the reliability and perseverance of your lover's fundamental positions. This does not mean that your partner cannot change opinions as time goes by. Rather, it is to believe in their capacity to preserve their core values such as respect for human dignity and treat those values as an integral part of them. Each one of us can develop rational hope from our own individual observations. For instance, hope can be felt in moments when we consciously realize the power of our abilities or the potential coming from personal growth. To sustain rational hope, we also need courage. This is the readiness to take action even when there is a high chance to face disappointment. It takes courage to accept challenges in life as a force for growth. Love also requires a lot of bravery. That is to evaluate your partner's personality traits, to take a leap of faith and to trust them. We can grow our courage with small steps every day. The first step is to understand our true motivation by observing where we lose our courage. To ask ourselves, are we acting out of love or out of fear? In reality, when we lose courage, we become weaker, and every weakness leads to a further loss of courage. So it is of high importance to stop this cycle. To be active. Being active in love means that your whole being is actively directed towards your partner, but not exclusively. If we are active in love, we will be active in other areas of our life as well. This capacity for an active love suggests intensity, energy, vitality, which can be reached and sustained with creative aspirations in any area of life that inspire and bring us joy.